Hello everybody, welcome to The Last Word. Newcastle Fans TV. Yes, we are doing it on the walks today because uh, if you've seen my match reaction, uh, I've left the little one and the other half has went to the cinema whilst I went to the game. Adam was laughing his head off when I told him that inside the stadium. You'll see him on the match vlog for that. Adam is here, uh, but he's on the drink, hence why he's not on any videos, so it's me. Um, so I'm just walking across the lake uh, to go and meet her. But um, this is the last word. We'll look at um, the lineups first and second half and if we'll learn anything from it. We'll talk about the fans later, but... Um, is wing-backs the right decision? I'm still not fully convinced that wing-backs is, to be honest with you. It might be all right going against some teams, but I would like to see Bruce try something else during pre-season. Look, we've only played two games, York and Doncaster, but I would like to see a change of formation uh, rather than having five at the back because I think you're going to need to alternate during the season. So I would like to say that. Obviously, with the start lineup, you can't, can you really read too much into it if it being pre-season? Probably not so much because the first game of the season is against West Ham. I think there'll be a couple of changes to the start lineup. Uh, obviously, we know about the goalkeepers, of course, the midfield as well. For me, obviously, we've got a lot of the players away on um, still away, given having time off from the Euros and Copa America, Miggy as well, Fabian Shea, Emil Krath, and what have you. Um, but as the game um, kicks off, we well, are well, going to come on to the fans very, very shortly, but. Um, I've got to talk about the first goal was a fantastic finish by Ryan Fraser great build up what a finish it is and when Fraser needs a big season this season fantastic finish in the corner it was, it was difficult to see from the other end of the ground um, so I jumped on and thankfully anyway, the team NUFC TV put the goals on on Instagram and what have you so seeing them back at close range knew it was a great finish anyway but one up um, I thought he was bright I thought he was very, very bright today. Um, not, co not totally convinced that this late breaking from midfield is his role, to be honest with you. But um, hey, we'll, sit, we'll have to, we'll have to just go with it. I mean, not much that we can do. But one nil up, great start, and then we we got the second goal. It was what, what, five minutes, six minutes. I can't remember off the top of my head. But ESM, um, his performance tonight, a little bit of showboat, and you know what he's like. I am. Um, what I noticed tonight. That he was coming deep, finding pockets and wanting to run at the defence. So he was doing that. We are accustomed to that. We know that he does that. He likes the ball. Bloody hell, there's a blimmin' swan. I'll have to show you this one in a minute. But obviously he cuts the ball uh, back to Jamal Lewis. He, Jamal Lewis fluffs it. And then Sean Longstaff finishes. And the crowd are going absolutely wild. Just keep an eye on these swans, because look. It's wonderful, the babies. There you go. Hey, I'm next to the lake. Uh, so we went 2-0 up. It's so a crowd, absolutely fantastic. Singing their heads off. Again, I'll come to the crowd in a very second. Um, disappointing the way we conceded towards uh, the end of that uh, first half. I think it was the end. I can't remember. I can't remember hardly anything that day. But that line stretches for the shot and saved. Got a good clip of it, you can see. Um, Jacob Murphy's asleep. And that's the thing where he's got to learn if he's going to make this right wing back his own, if Newcastle aren't going to strengthen, we know that Mankio was back in training, we know Emil Krath will come in, that's still a weak position for me, however, he's sleeping, and that's what he's got to work on in his game for me, um, do I trust him for the full season? No, I would still like to see that position strengthen, I think he's a great squad player, I think he's had a brilliant end to last season, but he's got to prove me wrong going into this season, if he's their uh, first choice quality, and um, going into half time, I thought, you know, at half-time there'll be loads of, loads of substitutions. I thought there'll be tons, left, right and centre. But to be fair, Bruce didn't really start making the changes towards, what was it, the half-hour mark? I keep thinking them uh, paramedics are following me. Um, I probably think, what's that knacker doing with his phone? Talking to himself. And going in the second half, oh, look how dark it's got. Going in the second half, uh, the crowd were very good. Again, I'm going to come to the crowd. Um, the goal, Callum Wilson. You know, Callum Wilson said in the past, Fraser and Wilson equals goals. Fraser picked the ball up, went at the defence. Great little slide pass to um, Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson put it away. Got that on, got that on, you can see it on the screen now. As he scored, fantastic for Callum Wilson. We need to see him scoring lots of goals, but we also need the rest of the team chipping in, which I've talked about this the past week. Kind of just rely on him, but I am going to talk about the crowd now because 
from that moment when Callum Wilson scored, the crowd just went nuts. Absolutely nuts. And they were singing, Hey, Callum Wilson, ooh, ah, I want to know how you scored that goal. So it was, it was going on for literally 10 minutes straight. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating. Anybody was there, then he can vouch for that. 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Substitutions then came, loads of them. I thought the zip of the game kind of died off a little bit. It was um, fantastic to see all the under-23s, tons of them, four or five of them on the pitch at the same time, which was brilliant. A lot of them local lads. Matty Bondswell, left wing back, getting his debut as well. So it was good to see him have his debut. And then Doncaster scored. It was, I, th I haven't seen the goal back, but having seen it from the other end, I thought Langley could do a little bit better. If I'm being brutally honest, and I think that's where his inexperience comes in. Look at that lake. Beautiful. Ooh, I'm going very dark. Yeah, apologies about that. Um, game ended, it dried out. And then we're seeing, obviously, the, the, the crowd sing for the tune. It was brilliant to see. And that's what I want to talk about now is the, the fans. I mean, I'm delighted to say I'll um, Daft Jordy's back. People at the tops off. Um, singing the heads off it was brilliant and you know what the fans it was hyped up this week that will be loads of uh, fans down Doncaster and you know what it is proud to be a Geordie night the way we conducted ourselves don't think anybody was a daft idiot I mean you shouldn't be in this kind of weather I mean especially with a friendly but it was great to see all the fans in high spirits singing their heads off um, I've already said on the, on the match reaction that is my highlight, without a shadow of a doubt. Tonight, it's good that we've got three goals. Yes, I know it's against lower opposition, but look how dark it is, man. Bloody hell. I'm going to have to put another clip on to hide it. But um, but I, what I'll do is, well, obviously, we'll, t we'll show all the fan clips, I think. As I say, that is the positive to come out of with Denise. So, going to love you and leave us because it's very dark, yeah. And yeah, I'm actually not far from the other half. But there's beautiful that in it. Beautiful, beautiful lake. But give the video a like. Tara everyone. Bye bye.